Kia ora. In this short video, we'll take a look at the Presbyterian Church of Aotearoa, New Zealand, and what it means to be Presbyterian. Currently, around 32,000 people are actively connected with the Presbyterian Church, and while they come from all walks of life and are of different ages and ethnicities, they all share the common goal of seeking to follow the way of Jesus Christ. The central focus of life together in the Presbyterian Church is gathering for worship in local congregations. That worship may take many forms and include different elements, prayers, songs, silence, communion, Bible readings and a sermon or message. For Presbyterians, worship means listening to the story of God's journey with humankind found in the Bible and reflecting on both what it means to recognize God's Spirit with us now and trusting and following Jesus Christ in everyday life. Sixty years ago, you could walk into a Presbyterian church anywhere in New Zealand and find the style of worship pretty much the same. Nowadays, it can take different shapes and styles. As we come to this part of the service, to sit around the Lord's table, to remember the sacrifice, let us, let us greet one another. The Presbyterian Church has committed itself to being a cross-cultural and multicultural church with a bicultural commitment. This cross marks the first Presbyterian service held in New Zealand on the deck of the ship the Bengal Merchant, anchored off the Patoni foreshore on the 23rd of February 1840. The Presbyterian Church played an important role in the European settlement of New Zealand, particularly in Dunedin, but also in Wellington. Presbyterians came to New Zealand seeking a better life and a more open society than the one they left behind in Scotland. Three key values, Education, equality and community have characterised their contribution to their new country. And Presbyterianism is a church born out of the Reformation, a protest movement against the established church in the 16th century. It is always affirmed that everyone has a part to play in society. Everyone has something to offer and the right to participate. And this means we need to be educated and knowledgeable about the world we live in. As a result, after arriving in what was to become Dunedin, it didn't take Presbyterians long to establish schools for boys and girls in the city and to found the University of Otago. The Presbyterian Church's early relationship with the Tūhoi Iwi in the 1900s saw the establishment of a number of mission schools, Te Whai Tanui Atoi, a Māori Boys Farm School, and Turakina Māori Girls College, sadly closed in 2015. The partnership with the church's Māori Synod, Te Akapuaho, has become a key feature of its life. Today, the Presbyterian Church sees this bicultural partnership as the basis of its multicultural life. The critical importance of education is also reflected in the network of 12 schools the church founded throughout the country. Our Presbyterian schools have a combined role of 10,000 students from preschool to year 13 and offer a well-rounded education, integrating the intellectual, physical, social and spiritual dimensions of life. Presbyterians are also committed to the practice of equality. There is no hierarchy in the leadership in the Presbyterian Church. Ministers and elders, the elected leaders of the congregation, are all on equal footing. And a strong theme in the Bible, the sacred text of the Christian faith, is that our well-being is inseparable from the well-being of others, particularly the most vulnerable in society. So equality is a key value. 
The immeasurable worth of all human life is witnessed to in the mission and service work carried out by congregation and schools, both locally and globally. New Zealand's history is rich in stories of Presbyterian men and women who have worked tirelessly and courageously to bring about a more just, fair society and to give a voice to the voiceless. How do you think they're doing in themselves? In addition to that, Presbyterian Support, one of New Zealand's largest social service agencies, was established over 100 years ago to provide social support to vulnerable people in our communities. And today, it continues to offer support to children, families, people with disabilities, and the elderly. Another key theme in Christian faith is that people are made for relationship with God and with others. Jesus' two great commandments were to love God and to love our neighbour. One thing this means is that value and satisfaction in life aren't found by Presbyterians when individuals insist on doing things their way. They believe people discover them when they work, make decisions and share life together. It's all about community. The Presbyterian Church speaks of five faces of mission, reflecting this commitment to community. It wants to make Jesus Christ known through nurturing and teaching people in Christian faith, loving service, proclaiming the gospel, transforming society, and caring for creation. For more than a century and a half, Presbyterians have been inspired by the example of Jesus to work for a better life for all New Zealanders. And their commitment hasn't diminished over the years. It takes a different form from that of those early Scottish settlers, but it continues to feed from the same vision, the same hope, and the same faith. Beneath the southern cross.